Dmitri Konak. Even here, at the edge of civilization, the streets glisten with black ooze seeping up from below. In every direction, there are forgotten lots and buildings tucked away, left behind, like bad memories. An animatronic cactus stands beside me wearing a sombrero. Gotta shield yourself from the moonlight, I guess. It seems out of place and out of time, but fitting for a city that lost its way a long time ago. In this town, even the plastic cacti have a story to tell. The only sign of life is an all-night Mexican food stand, a place called El Sol. Lately, I've had a taste for trouble and a knack for finding it, but tonight, I've got a taste for a burrito. These might come in handy. Dmitri Konyak's final words echo in my head. Sunshine, sunshine. Could Sunshine Power be responsible for the disappearance of Rusty Blackwood, heir to the Blackwood Oil Company? Uh, what? What was that, amigo? Could a company that produces cheap, clean energy really be guilty of homicide, of cold-blooded murder? Look, man, I get paid four bucks an hour. Hurry up and order, will you? Could Sunshine Power have assassinated an heir to their rival? No, that would be too dark, too twisted. Even for this city, the explanation was probably something simpler, something more elegant. Bro, what sunshine? It's always night in this city. It's always raining. Are you gonna order or what? Um, sorry. Yeah, I'll have a grande burrito and, uh... Oh my god! Oh my god! There is no sun! Like a flash of lightning piercing the night sky, it hit me. The answer I'd been seeking. The truth about Rusty Blackwood. This is going to shake the very foundation of the city. I mean, it's just a burrito, bro. That'll be sixteen ninety-nine. Oh yeah, we're also running a special. You can take these too. Lone figure mops gleaming puddles infinitely towards the horizon. Just another part of the scenery. You did not bug out, hell yeah. I wanted to ask in the beginning, like, why would someone make stuff for? Solar power if there is no smoke. 